Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome to uh, my Horizon um, Horizon Conference tournament predictions. We are in March. That means basketball, and that means free content, free content, pretty much predictions. Pretty much easiest content, at least to make, whether you're right or wrong. Eh. No one really cares on that. So <laughs> perfect. Anyway, especially uh, again, especially when it comes to the Horizon. I mean, unless you're from the mid, the northern Midwest, who really cares? Definitely not some random kid in New Mexico. Anyway, predictions. I just dropped my. Well, hope maybe just dropped. We'll see. Um, yeah, just at least just recorded the. Um, what's the name of that conference? Atlantic Sun. That's the one. I just dropped that video with the predictions. Uh, if you have not seen that, go check that out. But today at five o'clock, the um, the Horizon is getting underway with their um, turn with their tournament. At least I believe it's at five o'clock. Yep, at five o'clock they got four games today. Um, we got Green Bay, Detroit, Robert Morris, Youngstown State, IUPUI, everyone's favorite, um, Oakland, UIC, and Milwaukee. But um, yeah, we're gonna go. At least, uh, definitely today, um, the full, the uh, full tournament. Uh, in the future, uh, when I give myself more time to prepare, um, we'll do game, game, individual game predictions. But I didn't give, did give myself enough time for today. So, full, uh, full tournament predictions. I see no reason um, not to start here, except for like, subscribe, please helps a lot. Um, I want to do a whole lot more college basketball content. Would um, mean a lot if you like. If you want to see it, leave a like. But if you don't want to see it, then don't leave a like. But um, yeah, if there's any other videos you want to see, comment down below. Also, quickly to explain this tournament, it gets reseeded after every round, except for the semifinal. Like uh, first round, after that one, it gets reseeded going into the quarters. Quarters then gets reseeded into the semis, and then just whoever wins the semis. Makes sense. Good. Here we go. Starting off today, Oakland Golden Grizzlies, IUPUI Panthers. Uh, Oakland, I, I, IUPUI won what three games? Yeah, they went three and twenty-five, one and sixteen in conference. I think it's pretty safe to bet against them on this one. Oakland comes into this twenty-three point favorites. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm rocking with Oakland here. Also had a very good non-conference, kind of struggled a little bit in conference, but um. Yeah, the non-conference did did all right. Moving on, the Penguins. Oh wait, no, that's not the next one. That's, that's the Titans, not of Tennessee, but of Detroit. The Detroit Mercy Titans versus the Green Bay Phoenix, not Packers. Um, yeah, both of them aren't great. Detroit Mercy though, have I've kind of picked it up towards the latter half of um latter half of the year. Still under five hundred overall, but ten and seven in the conference. Green Bay, however, five and twenty-four, four and sixteen in conference. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna roll with Detroit on this one. I I feel pretty confident that one again. Line ten points, not quite as bad as a certain twenty-three point spread, but ten points in favor of Detroit. Not necessarily taking. I'm not saying I'm taking line there, because I don't bet. Because I'm responsible. Uh, but no, go, I'm gonna go Detroit to beat Green Bay here. Now the Penguins, <laughs> not of Antarctica, of Youngston State. Who, choo who chooses the name Penguins? That's that's a meeting I would have liked to have been a part of. Not maybe not just to ch not to change it, but just to see who who came up with that idea. Against the Robert Morris uh, Colonials, much more reasonable name, at least in my opinion. Youngston State um, this year above 500, which in these lower mid majors kind of counts for a lot, especially if you're playing in the first round. Uh, yeah, they have they, they went 18 and 13, 12 and 9. Um, Overall in the non-conference, whereas Robert Morris didn't even win double-digit games. All right, that's seven. Not in conference, seven overall, five in conference. Give me Youngston State. Then finally, for the final first-round game, the UIC Flames, thirteen and fifteen, nine and ten, against the Milwaukee Panthers, um, who are most famous for having Patrick Baldwin on their team and doing absolutely nothing with him. Uh, yeah, 10, 10, and, 10 and 21. <laughs> and then what, what were they in conference? Sorry, I clicked on something else. 
Yeah, eight and fourteen in conference, which isn't horrible. I mean, eight wins, but um, yeah, maybe he he went. He did only play eleven games. Was that is he injured now? Cause this could be important. No, he played Wednesday to Wednesday, February ninth. Against Northern Kentucky, where he went three of eleven for twenty-seven percent, one for seven from three, scoring eight points. Gosh, dang, that's that's disappointing. I mean, I'm still rolling with Milwaukee, but um, yeah, I like DeAndre Golston a lot. So um, yeah, rolling with Milwaukee over um, UIC. But Patrick Baldwin, you you disappoint me, man. That's yeah, I'm going to go to a mid-major school. I'm going to be fantastic. Yeah, you suck. Very much better than I would ever be. But, yeah, you suck. Uh, moving on. <laughs> so, um, see so yeah, being receded. So, we got 1 versus 9, Cleveland State versus Milwaukee. 4 v 5, um, 3 v 6, and 2 v 7. Pretty reasonable thing, except for just instead of an 8, we got a 9 seed. Yeah, Cleveland State versus Milwaukee. Milwaukee, you're done. Unless Patrick Baldwin just becomes Johnny Davis. You're kind of screwed. Even if that happens, I think you're still screwed. Yeah, Cleveland State's been fantastic. Uh, fantastic this year. So give me the Vikings. Um, yeah, they went 19-9, uh, 19-9 overall, 14-3 in conference. Fantastic. Give me them over Milwaukee. Then you got the 4v5 Wright State Raiders, Oakland Grizzlies. About even. That's why it's the 4v5. So give me the team that had a warm-up game. I'm going. I'm going the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. The upset, uh, upset here. Um, they're not that big of an upset, but moving uh, moving on. Three v six. Northern Kentucky, eighteen and eleven. Eleven and four uh, versus the um, Detroit Mercy Titans. Talked about them a little bit. Thirteen and ten. Ten and seven. Give me the Titans. I, I feel. I feel like we kind of need a bigger upset in here. And I, I, I very much think it could be the Titans. I don't know exactly how well they've been doing. Um, I guess if they're on a roll or not. I know they... Yeah, they've been... They <laughs> the last four games, they played Purdue Fort Wayne, which they lost, but only by three. To, to one of the hottest teams in the conference. We'll talk about them here shortly. But beat Cleveland State, number one seed. Wright State, number three. Or number four and Northern Kentucky number three. Then their previous two games were Oakland and Youngstown State, which they both lost. But still, very good teams. I'm rolling with Detroit here. I th I think they're on a roll again. Got that warm up game, I guess you can say. Give me Detroit uh, six over the three, and then Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons versus the Penguins of Youngstown. Young is it Young Youngstown State or Youngstown State? Doesn't matter. They're losing anyway. Uh, yeah, Purdue Fort Wayne's gonna win. Uh, throughout the year, I kind of keep track. I have a doc for every conference. I like, kind of keep in track um, with at least the the actual resumes, like who they've beaten. Some conferences, I I kind of get lazy halfway through and don't finish all the conferences with this. But like their te their um, team their team sheet ranks. But for Purdue Fort Wayne, typically like I have their name, their record, their wins, and their who who they've beaten, who they've lost to. Uh, yeah, for Purdue uh, for for, Wayne, for Mastodons. Didn't even, I, I, I apparently forgot to put who they lost to. And ever since I kept that up, they never lost. So I'm feeling pretty good about Purdue um, Purdue here. The, ex uh, the exact total of their win streak was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They're on a 9 game win streak. Would have been. That's, yeah, 12. Except for losses to Northern Kentucky and Wright State, who we've already talked about, were teams that got a buy <laughs> in this conference. So uh, Purdue Fort Wayne over Youngstown State, feel pretty confident about that one. Then uh, semifinals: um, Cleveland State versus Oakland Golden Grizzlies. I accidentally wrote Detroit twice here. In fact, wait, yeah, it is Cleveland State versus Detroit. Purdue versus Oakland. Um, yeah, I got Cleveland State winning. I like Detroit again. Been on kind of a little roll as of late, but Cleveland State's just been better throughout the year, and I, I feel pretty safe here just going with the overdogs. 
And then Purdue Fort Wayne versus Oakland. I give me Purdue again. The nine game win streak, winning uh, twelve of their last fourteen. I'm I'm rolling with the hot hands. And in the finals, I got them over Cleveland State. I think Purdue Fort Wayne will win uh, this division, which would total a nine, ten, eleven. 12-game win streak overall, um, 14 of their last 16. One of the hottest teams coming into March. Either that, or they lose to Youngstown, Youngstown State. One of those two. I'm rolling with them winning the con uh, the conference uh, championship, though. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. That's all I got for you today. Uh, well, no, I, that's all I got for you in this video. Um, shortly after, there should be the, uh, the Patriot League. Patriot League prediction coming out. But if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you all later. Adios.